His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop palms. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. How? Joking how? Everybody's joking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. Over. Say, look at his health in the music. The moment you own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes one What you are about to witness is not for the faint of heart. Get ready for Office Baked. Alright, y'all already know what it is. This is a live edition of Office Baked. Normally we get to sit and mix down two hours of footage or sounds. Now we actually have footage. Um, I'm not even in the queue. Oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, if you're tuning in, you obviously know what we do. We tell life stories, funny antidotes, funny thoughts, obviously. Um, if you've listened to the past, I was given a very hard time about my experience with edibles. And now I get, now I get to flip this story back around. Now, mind you, mine did not come with instructions. I ended up kind of incapacitated for about 32 hours. I was living the movie of Hostel. The hotel was working with the drug dealer. We all were going to die. <laughs> Terry wanted to call the police because we bought place drugs. <laughs> she did not trust her meter, and she didn't want to jump out of the window naked. I had to keep reminding you to please do not let me jump out that window. (laughs) So uh, my high kind of mellowed out because no offense, but she was such a fucking buzzkill because I had to take care of her. I was was so sitting there and I'm like, I can't let Terry die. Her father fucking hates me if Terry dies, then I'm fucking dead. Yeah. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I gotta help her to the bathroom. Wait a second, my legs don't work. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So the next day, I'm finally getting sober. And I'm still alive. She's gone. And our plan is to go to Chinatown and then go to Coney Island. We get on the train and Terry sees two, I think the politically correct term is Asian American people. Yes. And she looked at me and goes, Okay, it's 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 Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. They're gonna fight! She swore they were gonna start street fighting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because they were like one was on this end, the other one was on the other end, and they just kept eyeing each other. And I'm in the middle, I'm like, oh my god, the fight is going to break out right here in the middle in, in New York, and I'm like freaking out. And I had, I think we had to wear masks on the on the train. Yes, and I kept thinking, oh my god, what am I going to do? I don't have to get anything to protect myself. <laughs> So we get, off the, we get off the train, and we're in Chinatown, and so Terry doesn't give a fuck about her price when she's high, so she's sitting there, and the guy's like, $300, and I'm like, that's fucking fake, no way, so thank God I'm there, and I'm semi kosher, and I'm like, nah, how about 150 how about 120 trying to chew him down. Because Terry's dead set. She's getting this Louis Vuitton purse. She don't care if it's fake. Money could have been coming from the Prince of Ibu for all she gave a shit. She didn't know she was paying for it. Because finally, how it works is they hand you the purses or the Supreme stuff, whatever you buy. And then they point to an ATM. You have to go to that ATM, get out the exact amount that you agreed upon, and then drop it at an SUV. Uh, right on the other corner because it's illegal to sell the stuff so they make it look like a gift and then you go to an ATM and then happen to bump into a friend in a car so Terry's sitting there and she doesn't realize what she's spent she had the money but it was still kind of funny she's like how much do I gotta get out $200 what for that yeah $200 the deal's already done I chewed him down from 380 and she's sitting there. You know credit cards go like this into the machine. 
Terry's so fucked up, she's putting it long ways, saying, It won't fit! She's tapping on the window with a bang. It's defective! <laughs> Gone. Yeah. So, we get back on the train. We, I got my Louis Vuitton book bag. She got a Louis Vuitton purse. I got some Supreme shirts. And we're now getting off at Coney Island. No. Terry decides that she's had enough. She's sweating. She's never hot, mind you. But Terry is 190 degrees now, and she's going straight for the fucking ocean. And they're all clothes on, all shoes on. My mask. <laughs> she's like, fuck it, and I'm just standing there watching. I'm videoing. That's what I would be doing. <laughs> yes, I had my mask on, because you know, you gotta be, you have your mask on out there. Oh. And it was just running towards the ocean, because it just looked so beautiful. <laughs> so... Finally, my high went down. <laughs> After you got in the ocean? Yeah, it was. Because there were no instructions. <laughs> so we just ate the whole bag. Yeah, yeah we just ate the whole... My uncle called and he's like, because I told him that I would just try edibles. And he called me and he was like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, I don't feel a thing. And then it just hit me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm on fire. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
I couldn't fall in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Words were hard. Wow. No, no sentences, no complete thoughts. At one, one point, point, I was like, what is an underfoot? And then you forgot it. And then you left me right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is done. I don't even know what my odd request was. I want to know. I wish I could remember. But yeah, there's <laughs> odd requests. No sentences were formed. Yeah, we want you to drive home and you got like a mile down the road. You pull over and you're like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs>
You don't see us again. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, and the thing I remember is like the first time ever I got fucked up off weed was when I was about 15 years old. Um, went to a party with my boyfriend at the time and my stepbrother. And it was a six foot fucking long there. And then I was 15. No. Wait. <laughs> that was one of the best ones yeah, you ever told. Um, <laughs> but there was a six foot long there, and I fucking filled this shit, and I cleared this shit, and afterwards, I died. <laughs> she came back. I fucking died. I fucking died. I swear to God, I coughed for an hour. <laughs> an hour. And at least that's what it felt like to me, and I was so fucking uncomfortably high. Wow, it'd be yeah. I just I just went somewhere and I lay down and I passed out and I was like, yeah, you can't count it. But great, you gotta stand on a stool just to hit it. You gotta yeah. down below the lighter because you can't reach to the sixty. Yeah, and so, and so you, you don't stop, you don't stop sucking yeah. until they fucking stop lighting and then you put your hand over it because you're like, oh. And they pop the car as you're taking. <laughs> and then you die. Then you just kind of just walk your yourself. It's death. Wow. I died that day. Now, I, I, I was sitting there thinking, and McKenzie knows my mind wanders with these episodes, so if you're new to this, you'll realize I'm very ADD. But. We all know that. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we live next to you for how many fucking years? Yes, we don't know. Right. <laughs> hey, Shane, how are you doing? Ooh, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, I just saved the guy and blew himself up. Do you want to kill him? Why didn't you just let him burn? No, he could only save one person in his life. Today's not your himself. day. Tomorrow's not looking good either. Shane got his free, get free entrance to heaven. Like, <laughs> so, so I, um, I just realized something because I dealt with it twice this week. And I don't know if it's like something in this entitled America society or if it's something that is like new. But I dealt with it once at work and once in my private business. I will utilize my private business one to explain. I sell audiobooks. I sell them on eBay. Say that it was a cassette. It was an audiobook. You can tell it was a cassette. Freaking moron buys it. And he messages me five times while I was at work. But obviously I don't check my messages. So this guy is blowing me up like an ex-girlfriend that, you know, is sprung or something. Like, all right, but you got a message. You got a message. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, hang on a minute. It's Christmas Eve. Like, come on. So he's like, well, if I would have known it was a cassette tape, I wouldn't have bought it. I don't even have a cassette player. Um, so, I really don't even want to return it. I just want my money back. When did it what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I dealt with this at work. I dealt with it twice at work. Yeah. yeah, and here where people are like, I want my cake and eat it too. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I'd rather not go to the post office and ship it back. And I'm like, hold up, this is your mistake, and you're trying to blame me. When I took pictures of the ad and showed him what it said, that the actual image says cassette tape, and you're mad at yourself now for fucking up, and you want me to compensate you in some way that makes zero sense. I was like, but you want to keep the item, which means you're either going to resell it or you're going to or get a cassette player. And it just blew my mind that multiple times this week. I dealt with that mentality where it was like, oh, yeah, I, I don't like the item, but I'd like to keep it. They had to come get me because this lady, it was first thing in the fucking morning, too. I really irritated the shit out of me because I was already cranky because I was fucking awake. They had to come get me because she wanted to return her hand. It was holy. Oh, like, like Jesus. Yeah, it, it was a Jesus hand. <laughs> so it literally had in your pocket in it. So a few of the slices, you know, had about a good one inch hole in them. I'm like, ma'am, we don't look inside of a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told her that. And she just looks at him like, 
No. Terry looks up. Thanks for fucking wasting my time! And she does it like she's got a megaphone. The whole place. Three hours of my life I'm never getting back. Hey, hey, let's just get in. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. I'm admitting it, okay? So, so 
that, that night, John lived with his mom and his stepdad. And, and that's, that's actually where I started to be here, is because his stepdad had two Technic 1200s in the garage. Well, if I wanted to play on the turntables, I had to do chores for John's mom. And if John's bald to me, you'll, you'll, it'll blow your mind. Oh, my God. Rhymes with Stepford Man. <laughs> in Wu Tang. Yeah. So, so, so basically, she tells me I need you to put insulation through the whole garage. So I'm up there, you know, stapling and shit and everything. Well, I didn't want to get my outfit dirty because we're going to the dance later that night. So Jay's just in like shorts. Putting insulation. Putting insulation all up in there. <laughs> and Jay doesn't realize it's probably that was a bad idea. So we go to the football game prior. And we're like, we already get in trouble, we get thrown out of that. So we go to the dance. Well, I get a chance to dance with this chick that I had my eye on. Okay? Thicker girl, you know, my type, all of that. Forget her name, but I'm sure if Angel's watching what she looks like this, he'll probably chime in with the fucking name. Chime in, Angel! <laughs> what was that girl's name? Because that's back when we started LB2, which was Waffles. And so, the whole night, I'm like itching. But I'm not like itching here. Like, I'm itching here. Like, we're like, we're like did slow dance, and I'm like, this chick... Now, now, mind you, you this, this is 10th grade. grade. We, we just, just had the video where they show you worst case scenario what could go, go down if you have sex. Oh, um, that's a story. Oh, so, so, so she turns, turns around, around, never talks to me again. again. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't ever. Angel, <laughs> Angel comes to me and he's like, yo, I heard you got to dance with. Ashley Shunk. Anyway, so. And I was like, yeah, I got dance with Ashley Shunk. He wouldn't believe it. And he's like, yeah, man, she told me you got crashed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, man, I was letting you borrow my jeans for weeks, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, I went home and I told her. I was like, I can't stop She's like, well, what'd you do? And I was like, well, we were hanging in solution. I got dressed and I went to the dance. And she goes, did you shower? What do you wear when you put insulation on? My boxers, <laughs> and she goes, "Boy, I tell you, <laughs> there, there is some stupid shit on this plane." <laughs> 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 like she spent, she I met Flo. Flo tells about this. <laughs> Flo <laughs> will sit there, and I had to break down what, oh my what, God, what yes. um, what uh, floor play was. was. At the, the dinner table. table. The last time I was up there visiting. That, like 80 some year old woman. <laughs> with me, my brother, and her, and, and, and Terry at the table. She goes, Jay, you know, I listen to your radio show, the new pair, and insinuate foreplay, preheating the oven. And she's like, Can you tell me what that is? Because back in the day, back in the day, we just got the business done, and then the man went and smoked or watched a movie or whatever worked. There's no need for that shit. And I'm like, so, never, and, and, and Terry's like, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, so, hands, face, tongue, oh, and ball. When we, when we first got together, Go ahead. he invited me over for cookies, okay? Homework. <laughs> so I went over, we were watching Ted and, and everything. <laughs> And um, I stayed over. We went to, wait, we went to McDonald's. The first yeah. impression of me, she touched my nuggets. Now they're her nuggets. Yeah. So, so she instantly should have figured out, he's crazier than fuck. Get back home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because OCD, weird things and nuggets, whatever. So, but, um, yeah, I stayed over. My grandmother calls. And says, by the way, you got to worry around again. So that's how I meet grandma. Because she do not speak her phone. So now, now I'm thinking, I'm going to go out and fuck. Well, <laughs> Jay got a kidney infection that same weekend. He thought. And I'm being blood. I'm thinking what your grandma says around the corner around. I'm being blood. Two and two together. Uh, that's me. Yeah, it's dog pee on me. It's dog pee on me. Yeah. And then. And this is like Pit Lab mix. Yeah. 200 pound dog. He was so jealous. Yeah, 
yeah, it was so, so dumb. dumb. I was like, fuck it, I'm not sitting around here. So me being the caring person, I find out that it's a kidney infection. <laughs> so I text her back, I'm like, well, maybe we can hang out. Well, well, that, that night, her, she goes into the DKA. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm trying to be the caring, responsible person. You know, I'm, I'm at the hospital every, every day after work. work. They, they start, start thinking, thinking I'm her husband. Yeah. And <laughs> everything is, I'm right by her bed. She's asleep, unconscious, whatever. I'm bringing her stuff. And they're like, I just met this guy. So <laughs> why the fuck you see her every day? <laughs> yeah, I'd like, walk there. Didn't, didn't even have, have a car. car. I'd walk oh. from the district. Yeah. To the, the hospital and sit with, with her when I get off work at Target. Yeah. And she's like, I don't, I don't know why he's here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. He, is, he is a stop. He was sneezing and for a stop um, when, when we first met. And we were like stopped and I was like, cool, I'm walking all the way to work. Oh, Aww. that's sweet. Hey. I didn't like him though. And then he taught you how to grab the stick shift. Oh, you, you do, do tell, tell it better. better. Yes, it's <laughs> asshole. Never be forgiven. Never. <laughs> I will never, I will never get over it. He will never get down. Uh, what kind of car are you driving right now? A stick. That's not the point. That is not the point. That is not the point. That is not the point. It was actually Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so first car I ever bought was this night. What year was it? Oh, oh, hun. Yeah, you're driving the one. Which one are you talking about? The one she learned to drive. Oh, one. No, it was a 91. It was a 91 Chevy Corsica. Got her for like 1500 bucks. Any bags, right? Uh huh. Oh, okay. And um, I picked up my best friend at the time, my like best friend, um, from work. And I don't remember what it was we were doing, but all of a sudden, my fucking radiator blows. And I'm like, what's up? What do you do? And I'm trying to weasel into this freaking um, parking lot. And as I'm, you know, slowly coasting into this parking lot, bam, we get hit by a fucking car going 35 miles an hour in a fucking parking lot. Yeah, so it was, it was a shit day all around. But at the time, I was going to grooming school. Now, Vegas is big. Let's pretend that... This is my house, okay. and this, this room is Vegas. So, so like, people, people only know, know the strip, but it's, it's massive. It's huge. Mm-hmm. It is massive. Okay, so my house, my house is here, and my school is all the way at the closet door. Shit. So, if I were to take the bus to be there at 7 a.m., I would have to get on said bus and probably take two or three, yes, at 3 o'clock in the morning. Or I could learn how to drive this car, which was a stick. So it's looking out in the back neighborhood, and I'm killing the car, killing the car, killing the car, <laughs> getting frustrated, and we he's getting really like frustrated. Right now, like, you you told told her and finally, he fucking opens the door, gets out of the car, slams the fucking door, says, get, get my, my fucking, fucking car home, and walks home. Oh. <laughs> he fucking left me. He left me. He left me. <laughs> and that car was his baby, too. Like, he loved that car more than he loved me legit. <laughs> I mean, I got... <laughs> but, but that's, that's not the point. It was pain to see if you could hurt my car like that. <laughs> 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 you didn't sit there. Oh, now you hear the truth. Oh. And that's why I said you will not teach me how to drive. No. <laughs> you don't leave her like out in the middle of somewhere. <laughs> They're like, just get it home. <laughs> it's it's a, a new one. one. The truck has uh, six. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah, now I prefer to drive six. You left me. Mm-hmm. Or left me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I'm comfortable leaving my car riding when I go into my I don't know how to drive. I didn't. I couldn't even start it. Don't you put it in neutral, and then after it's in neutral, you hit the clutch and get or the turn on? Well. 
first of all, if not in your coach bag, bag I'm going to put foot on, on the brake. <laughs> so that's why you started in control. Yeah. yeah. I always leave my car in control. You start it in control. Yeah, you reverse it as you just climb, and then put it on there. I would always um, stall it out every single time. Oh, the next day I had to drive. Just a little wider than myself, just a little all that, and then, like, four times. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Being on the hill. Oh, hell, I'm still to this day terrified of hills. You just done it until you gotta stop. You're like, fuck you, I don't care if it's red. Thinking back at it, but you gotta call every time I ever put my hand in the air. Ha 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 
now. It it was a uh, it was a Seven uh, Eleven, and they had like and they had the big slurpee. Yeah. So I got like the big straw. I went in and got it for free, and then you get a slurpee. But I duct taped that to the top of my head with the with the hood, and Grandma never really asked. She's just, she just, I think she was in on it with Angel and everyone else. Like, it's going to be good, it might be a bumpy ride, but it's worth it. It's kind of like my theory when I first started liking fish chips. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but it's hell worth it. You're going to get smashed now. She's just like, 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 Anyway, so I go to school, and we had prepared these speeches and everything on what um, what we were going to be and why we were going to do this. So you had the boys, boys go up, and they're like, we're going to be president of the United States. They had a little sweet song and everything. Okay. So Jay then goes up, he waits till the last. Mr. Strickler, will you please come up and do your presentation? Now, mind you. Everybody else, they got a cop, a WWE wrestler, they got, you know, a, an ambulance person, they got the president, fucking Jay in a red, full sweatsuit with the hood up, and a fucking straw. <laughs> Step to the guardrail. Shit. 
So, we get the heads up, me and my friend, that I kind of met because of 9-11. His parents died in 9-11, and he was going to go into the police academy. So, he was my roommate in said mansion. So, at that time, he's in the police academy. We're pretty much, I'm going to New York every other day, plus seeing his shit and everything. So, the cops come, and they're like, hey, you're no part of this. Like, you need to get the fuck out. out. Pack up your shit, get the fuck out. So that night, we're in a hotel. And my grandmother's like, okay, well, I kind of watched the news, and we kind of withheld some information of what went down. So we have the perfect place for you. Okay. So I then, you know, I go down to Ohio and stay the summer with her, have all my stuff with me, which was kind of awkward. Because this is back when, like, you had all your shit. So, like, I had everything. Like, at the time, I probably had a DVD collection, and we said a DVD book had some things you wouldn't want to take to your grandma's house. But we were told to pack all your shit up. So now it's in your grandma's basement. <laughs> and you want to go down there and play Atari because you don't want to hear her wonderful stories about back in her day, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But she thinks you're doing other stuff. Because that stuff is down there. And somehow, magically, they have a psychic power to know what's in their home. And they're like, their, their freaking radar goes off and goes, oh my god, that's in my house. Yeah. 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 And you have a story about that. So I then found out that she didn't have the perfect place for me. I went to live in a monastery. Yeah. For three years. And I had to go to Catholic Mass three times a day, live in the monastery, give up most of my possessions, like completely conform to Catholicism. And then finally my cousin came and rescued me because there was no hugging in that place. They took my whole social security check, everything, and basically I was living there like I was going to be a priest. Mm hmm yeah, I've had some wonderful I can't imagine you as a priest. <laughs> no, not Welcome not to Jay's church. church. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I, can, I, can, I can imagine you as a priest if you get rid of his F's. His F's all the time. See, so, yeah. kids, what you gotta do is you gotta stop fucking up. If you wanna go to heaven, you need to stop fucking up. Hey, remember that preacher of the people? The cause of the preacher of the people? He's on YouTube and he's like, all these bitches and hoes, they need to stop it because God loves them. He was a man long time. Oh my god. He talked like he's a pimp. Yeah, he did. He was a priest. People lying about their donation, so I put an ATM out by the front door. <laughs> I was just being sent to a freaking group home after I got in a fight with my grandmother about leaning back in her chair like this. That's it? That's it? Yeah. You should you know how You got sent to a group home? Yeah. Wow. I got sit, I, she got so fucking pissed because I was I dumped there uh, because my mom had gotten arrested because, you know, my stepdad and his drugs. And she took a rap for him. Um. Well, that's her side of it. I mean, she wasn't exactly innocent either, but, you know, still, she was perfect. And, um, so yeah, we were sitting there um, at the dinner table, and I leaned back in her chair with this, and she threw a fucking fit, and so I threw a fucking fit. Yeah. And I ended up locking myself in the fucking bathroom, and my uncle couldn't get me out, and then my grandma the next day was like, put her in a freaking fit, take her away somewhere, and that's exactly what she did. Oh, she shit. Like her room home. Very nice day. I had my shit packed already, and she was like, before I even fucking woke up, my shit was ready to go. Oh, wow. And I'm like, How long did you have to stay there? Um, I was in the group home for like a month, and then I got sent to a foster home. It was pretty cool. Um, for like another couple of months until my mom got out and took me back. Wow. It wasn't that bad, So, Terry had a friend um, that the name is one of the Ninja Turtles. 
No. It's Raphael. Okay. <laughs> well, it's well. So, so Raphael is sitting there using the. It's actually an hour. I'm not going to go with my hands. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so Raphael is playing on the internet, but her dad didn't grasp how the internet worked. So this is back when you would get pop ups of porn. And so Raphael had a video playing, but it was streaming. And it wasn't something that was on set of hard drive. Her dad, not understanding how the internet works, picks up the computer and says, that can't be going on in my house. Beats the crap out of the computer and throws it outside because he thinks he's destroying said porn. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he beats the shit out of the computer. Oh my God. Like, that shit's going on in my house. Well, no, Raphael actually had porn on that computer. She did. <laughs> Do you remember when Ash was busted with her freaking, what was it, was it cousin or something watching porn? Oh, no. <laughs> no we gotta yeah, hear this now. call from her freaking father, and they're, they're what, how old were they? Maybe nine, ten, nine or ten, something like that. And he calls me and says, we got a problem. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? And uh, he freaking tells me that her and I think his wife's son and one of the cousins were all sitting there watching porn. Watching <laughs> 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 it like it's the Jefferson. Yeah. <laughs> we're moving on up. <laughs> oh, my fucking God.
nice conversation. She's like, Jay, yeah, she was in your lap. Is that normal? Do you go to the mall and she's just sitting in your lap? And I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. let me look back in my life. life. Um, yeah. yeah, she was like, are you guys happily married? Oh, I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, oh, shit. And mind you, Mackenzie's seen it. In, I can't explain it. Fucking soccer moms, MILFs, everything. They love me. Men, that that hey, one woman that you helped she lived in the basement. Her, yes. Yeah, you helped her carry her stuff up to her car. In the basement. <laughs> yes, she's in town taking care of her like grandchild or something. Everybody says there's some fucked up people in a big city, man. No, so this woman is taking care of her grandchild because they can't afford daycare because of COVID or some shit. This was like right around Easter. So I. Doing my little flirty thing, trying to earn some tips and everything. You know, dress shirt on at the time. I think I had a tie even. I'm like, let me carry your groceries. Oh my God, thank you. You were such a big help. You found me cheesecake and ham, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you want me to put it in the back of the car? Well, yeah. She goes, well, you could just get in. This woman wanted to physically kidnap me and take me to said basement. <laughs> this was worse than the woman that wanted me to clean her house in just a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, fuck, she paid you. Yeah, like, I came home, I was like, well, what happened today at work? Well, this woman said that she liked my tie, and could I come clean her house in just the tie? And she goes, well, for how much? Yeah, she wasn't, yeah, she wasn't yeah. like, no, fuck no. Like, okay, I want to negotiate this. Yeah, she's leaving me out. She's over there. She's like, okay, so tables and windows and, and floors are this much. But if he's got to do laundry, it's this much. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't see it. She's like, hey, you're four years old. You act and dress like you're 20. They don't understand what they're getting into. I said, well, just like we told Max, always be honest. I said, you know, I live at home with my mom. And I don't have a car. I take the bus everywhere. I was like, so here's Jay's. You might get sex once a month. I'm barely making ends meet. My friends are shot. We're driving my wife's car. So if we go on a date, you're probably going to be supervised. <laughs> <laughs> And they were open 24 hours a day. And they loved 
Little John Kit flow on repeat with the bass <laughs> on the middle, with the bass like all the way cranked. So all you heard is, Oh, skinky, 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 you know, get low. So much went down, down to the floor. It would be four in the morning. And then he would snort his coat, fight with his bitch, and then another person would come. So, finally, she finds the song, Be Your Roommate, by Whitney Payton. Yeah. Jay gives her full stadium size speakers for shows. And we crank that shit. Yeah. Then they come out on the porch. They continue their party. We can sit in Max's bedroom and see their porch. And I'm like, okay, we got it. She's like, what are you going to do? And I says, I'm going to leave the old lady. You heard my friend call. Anonymous tip. I, I smell the reefer. I'm just out here walking my little dog here, and I smell that reefer. I don't know what to do, but I can tell you it's at this apartment. My little doggy's now walking all crooked. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so they send the cops. And hey, we're sitting there watching. <laughs> Somehow they got some, they must have had a scanner, too. Because as the cops are coming up the hill, we hear them in the mouth. That silence flush and shit. It was hilarious. They're like, get down, get down, flush the shit. Bitch, shut the fuck up. And we're just... <laughs> we were laughing. But I didn't care what they were doing, but just for your damn music. She had to get up at 7 a.m. then. Yeah. To work. And it's like 4 a.m. All you hear is, to the window. <laughs> the same song. And Max had to get up for school, too. Oh, my God. And I would tell the landlord, and he would tell them, but... Like, yo, you gotta keep it down. And then, their first stimulus check hit. Oh, my God. And they bought, like, you know those big blockbuster things that they sell that are Bluetooth? They're about this tall, made by Monster. Yeah. That was their pride and joy. They spent... They went to rent Oh, and they had dogs. And they were just... Run and fight so they turn, they get this blockbuster, and it's like 30,000 watts. Okay? Like, they were proud of it. And they played the same song. They still didn't get any new music. No, they just played the same song over and over. <laughs> like, I want to know what Coke and Get Low, if, if you're listening, or if Little John is listening or something, what does Coke and Get Low have to do with each other? I've never ventured into that. I'm a fucking moron, I can admit. Well, I've got my fair share of everything, but it didn't have anything to do with that bomb. No, no. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting <coughs> one of Terry's ex. And come to find out that he started batting for the other team. I think he always did. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, us women do not turn men gay. Right. But, so, mind you, when I started dating her, and I showed her, got her to DK and everything, so we started dating. She's like, hey, you need to kind of help me get out of here. I'm like, okay, no problem. So she tells me about the dude and everything, and I ain't scared of no fucking, you know, fairy. That's my own opinion, not the opinion of everybody in the room, but that's my opinion. Saying You're saying that because of him. Because that's the way he acts. Yes. So, well, I put the fear of God in me, told him if you ever see her, walk the other way. If you ever see me, walk the other way. You don't know us, you don't know anything, keep it moving. Okay? Fear of God. Well, then Jay starts sending hysteria texts. What do gay people do? They show gerbils up their ass. So, Jay goes no, to a yard sale. Well, Richard Gere? No, it wasn't Richard Gere. 
shit to do with their money. But, but they want to be kicked in the groin with steel chip boots, and then they're not allowed to cry or say out. They have to say, may I have enough? They don't want to see you nude. They don't want to see tits. It's They come over, they say, kick me in the balls. Can I have enough? I'm your girl. I'm just sitting there like, wait a second. I kind of respect this area. You can kind of stare at any time and anything other than what I want come near it. But, but these, these people are physically paying harder money to be kicked in the ball. I am the wrong fucking gender. I don't want to change my gender. But, but I can make some fucking money kicking people in the grind. Like, I don't make much. I make my ends meet. But that's straight cash. Like, you ain't going to your tax adjuster at HR. Fuck one. But what was your job? I'm a, I'm a, 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 a private... You know, know subcontractor some for, for kickingintheballs.com. Kicking for that type of job, I could become a morning person. I could become a morning person. You are the piece of shit, crap. You are the one who pay me for just verbally abusing the fuck out of you. I am that person. I am the best person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm the best person. 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 I'm the Of 
Well, I could think of one. Funny, Funny Christmas, Christmas stories. Horrible Christmas, Christmas gifts. Like, like when you were a kid and you wanted those Air Jordans or think of Uggs nowadays. You know, damn well you're getting a Walmart look of Uggs. Yeah, yeah, like, like, I told Terry, she got, we got, got her the stand up mixture that she wanted. But then she got another one. It was a hand. And that's what started this idea. I was like, Rob, go outside, get a fucking piece of wood, drill it to the fucking hand mixer. Now it's a stand up mixture. Fuck it. Not the same at all. Oh, it's all kind of hell of a mini two mixer. Yeah. No, we need the hand mixer. And he needs a stand mixer. Yes. Well, the hand ones for, you yeah. know, slave Timmy that wants to dump his ass. No. <laughs> hey, it makes sense. Or what was that? You were talking about. He got me this massager. Hey, no, it's actual, actual back, back massager. Okay. okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. For Christmas. They sell it at Walmart. Mm. <laughs> 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 and he's just screw fucking dildo to it. Oh, because he goes like this. <laughs> it makes like fun things. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen that. It was like, I wanted it. Wanted it. it. It came with like multiple adapters. Actually, they were actually they were wonderful, and I should have one. So now I have one, and someone has it. I think it's Adra. So me, I'm I must I must have a death wish, or I'm fucked up in the head. You are. My back hurts. What do I do? Tell her to fully sit on my back. Yeah. And, and she'll, she'll go to the doctor and she's like, I think I'm going to kill him. Can you just crack his back for him? He's sitting there and paying away on his chest. And I just hear him go, Ugh. And <laughs> all hair from Jay is gone. There's a few times I thought I was going to kill him. Yeah, I was like, you want me to sit on your back? Like, are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny. That's a lot of toast to 
So when I was living at the district before I met Harry, when I still was going to school with Peter, Justin Bieber, I um, had a lot of friends. Well, not a lot, but I had a lot of friends. And I would go to the bar and hang out with them.
three miles over the speed limit. So, how much is your ticket? Oh, no, you just told me to slow down. Yeah. What? If, if I'm in I got pulled over in front of the mountain lair, the, the cop crawled under my car. Yeah? Terry's freaking out, texting me, because she hears the shit going down on the fucking scanner. They pulled me over right in front of the mountain lair, because I took Willie Street home that night. And it was a game day night and something else, so they had cops everywhere. And there was a WRX in front of me, and there was a Tribune behind me. And we all were just kind of over-revving, acting stupid, but who gets pulled over? You do, because you have a lot of exhaust. But so did the WRX and the Tribune. Yeah, but they're not going to get that. No. So, you know that little side spot where you can pull off to let all college kids, or where you should pull off, but they don't, they just stop traffic? Mm -hmm. Because you pay $40,000 a year for fucking tuition and not learn a fucking thing, not like put your phone away when you're crossing the Oh, yes, that's <laughs> Yeah, they're looking at their phone. la and then they'll look at it. What the fuck's your problem? You did it both ways, jackass. So, they pull me over. They say, sir, do you know why I pulled you over? For once, I was pulling the ceiling. Like, like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm shitting bricks, okay? I, I got, got a taser under my seat. I got a beer. I got handcuffs. I think I'm really fucked. I've got street glow and everything. Nothing's on that guy. So the cop goes, well, we're going to need you to uh, turn off your vehicle. Okay, why? Because you don't have an exhaust, and there's walls around here. You have to have a muffler. Well, my, my car has... This is a, a, a fucking DC performance exhaust. It's, 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 it's fine. It's past inspection. Right? Like, how, how, no. how can I be legally driving now? Now, mind you, this was not a sheriff. This was not a it was state university police. police. This was a university police. I'm on my high horse and trying to prove a point, okay? Like, if he was going to give me for a ticket, he was going to make sure that this shit was worth it. This motherfucker had me on the curb sitting, and I'm almost in tears because I'm thinking they're going to tow my car because this has happened before. They run my name. They spell it wrong. So then they tell me I don't have a license. Yeah, that's happened before. And they literally get a tow truck and take my car, and I have to go retrieve it the next day. Damaged. Because they spelled my name wrong on the license search. <laughs> and they tell me that I have a fake ID. Yep. Oh, my. So, my last name is Stripler, and they spell Stifler like the fucking American <laughs> Pie. And they're saying, well, this is a fake ID, sir. So, I'm fucking freaking out. This university police officer gets on his back. There's only this much room. Underneath that car is something, right? He's scooching under to verify if there's a muffler. He's with yeah. his little tiny flashlight and everything. Oh, he brought his magic flashlight. Click. click. I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky. I haven't had to pull over How yet. How would they get underneath your car? They would not get underneath your car. Yeah, you're going to have to get, like, one of those freaking um, extendable mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> Drive up on a, like, lift or nope, something. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do that. Damn. Damn. Nope. There, there's no nope. So, so I, was I was driving the other day. <laughs> She I may or may not have hit a kid. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. The survey's still out. Well, I don't know because he punched my windshield. The back and windshield. That was the back windshield, so I don't know if I hit him or if he, <laughs> he happened to walk into the car. car. So, so I hit him. Let's get better. We, we give her daddy chairs when her legs hurt. 
okay? okay. And my, my hip. <laughs> so she's driving a jazzy chair, and normally she uses it half throttle. Just a nice little coast. And, and Jay walks right. Oh, yeah, but Jay walks the side of his leg is hurt, but you don't want me to look at my looks. They aren't, you know, they'll, they'll fucking, fucking talk shit, shit on you if I'm that fucking jazzy. Jazz. I don't care. I mean, people talk shit about people who are in this chair. Well, well, here's, here's the character. Yeah. So, so I, I tell Terry, Terry I'm going twice. <laughs> okay? I heard this story from third generation <laughs> don't give a fuck, <laughs> but she supposedly <laughs> sees her brother. <laughs> Terry then puts it on full throttle <laughs> and is chasing said brother through Walmart. What was this? When I saw you guys at Walmart the other day? Yeah. Uh, Newsflash! It wasn't her brother, brother and, and the guy's running from her because he's scared of her. Why won't you love me? You're my brother! She's flooring it, chasing it.
I don't, I don't even think Max was born yet. yet. And I was a young eagle, and I put the money in, and I couldn't remember which what I was doing. And there was people trying to come out, and they wanted a soda, and I refused to let them get a soda. It was her pop machine. It was my pop machine. <laughs> I would not let them get anything from the pop machine. My ex-husband came out, and he's like, it's okay. <laughs> You were five minutes away from being kicked away from the pop machine. Yeah. And you helped me figure out which one I, what I needed and explain to them what was going on because I would not let them touch the pop machine. I stood in front of them with my hands out. You're not getting into this pop machine. I'm not getting shit. Yeah. If anybody's ever watched the movie, um, Paul Fisher, great movie. Yes. The, the beginning, beginning scene when he's yelling, yelling at the woman, you yeah. know, brilliant verbiage. You know, he's cussing the woman out, telling her that if she opens her mouth again, I'm going to put a bullet in her head, blah, blah, blah. What people don't realize is, is when I lived near the airport, across the street from us, was a group home. Jay had a theater set up with full movie surround sound. You were working late. I think Shane was going to get you. I remember this story. Yes, yes. I'm in my boxers, and I couldn't sleep. And the heat was broke, so I was sleeping upstairs on the couch. And I was like, well, I'll put Paul Fiction on. It usually gets me to sleep. Let's, let's reiterate that it is a special person in your home. Yes, it, it is. I mean, but it is still a funny-ass story. <laughs> <laughs> so, they allowed... The child, the child, because he had a dog and a wheelchair or whatever, to go around the block. I don't think they're children. They're adults? adults? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so sure. he had a dog, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure. And he would walk around the block or the wheelchair. Is it low, high? No, it's fine. It's high, low? No, it's just going to work out. Yes. What is it? It's fine. What is it? It's fine. Let me see it. It's fine. Let me see it. It's bullshit, no, it's fine. This is not bad. It's going up just a little. It'll be fine. We got to pick her up off the floor. We got help. Um, We're not going to be picking me up off the floor. How high is it? It's 253. Two yeah. So, I'm watching that scene. Obviously, I didn't realize that it was quite loud in the surround sound. Gentlemen, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't think you ever heard me watching movies, uh -uh. but I, I would, obviously I could be on the porch and hear me if I'm playing video games or something, but this kid, person, adult, whatever, was walking across our, like in front of the driveway, and overheard that scene. What transpired next was four state troopers and the canine unit coming to my door. I'm in my boxers watching Pulp Fiction. <laughs> I hit pause on the movie. When you do that, if it's on a projector, it just goes pitch black. So I'm trying to explain to them that I'm watching a movie, but obviously they don't even see a TV in my living room. <laughs> so now they think that I'm telling stories. They make me go on the porch because they need the security area. I didn't even know that I had this area that needed secure. They had to go to the basement to make sure that this woman that was being threatened was okay. It was just Chad watching a movie. Thank God by the time the cop came up and he's like, okay, no one's in your house, can you explain to me what's going on? I walk in and I hit play. Thank God it transpires and we all laugh it off. You realize prior to that, I was sitting in front of my Dodge. Already with guns pointed at me, telling me that they needed to secure my area over watching a movie. Say what one more time, I will drill a bullet four places in your house. <laughs> Sir, we are the state police, we have your house surrounded. Come outside. We heard none of it. <laughs> well, you were gone. So I opened the door. Hello? 
I'm sorry. Step outside. Fuck. I mean, I can't hide anything. I'm in my fucking boxers. Why are you upstairs on the couch if this is the most... They won't fix the heat. <laughs> like every question they came up with, I'm just like, oh, no, they, the heat didn't get fixed hardly at all. Ever. 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 Mm-hmm. You know, Freddie, and, um, I was wondering if Justin was just there. And he was like looking at the furnace and fixing filters and stuff. He'd be like, these filters are never going to replace. In your ear. Yeah. Well, well didn't they always say they came once a month, month to change the filters? Yeah. No. What's, What's your name? name? Our old friend that lived downstairs. Yeah. She told me she was weirded out because she thought that because she saw them when because she was in the shower, they were messing her her dirty laundry. You didn't hear that story? No. Yes. Yeah. Since then, I do not. That's why I wouldn't let Megan sit in the house if I wasn't there. I don't play that shit. You text me and say you're coming. I got the day off, bitch. You ain't coming here messing in my laundry. What kind of weird shit are you into? Why would they look at your laundry? Hey, I got some nice boxers, man. I'm just saying, or they might. I'm just saying, I'll put it out there because y'all already helped me move. I've got some nice undergarments that could be confused for women's. <laughs> you mean I? You mean I had to help you move that shit? Yeah. And she's sitting there saying, okay, we need to downsize. So her thoughts were, we're going to throw away dress shirts, hoodies, jeans. She starts opening drawers and goes, really, Jay? <laughs> no, first I asked if they were terrible. <laughs> and you were just like, no, those are mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so picture that. Please tell me they were boy shorts and not bong. They're not bongs. Okay. But, but picture that. Four state troopers and, and the fucking canine unit that sits in front of the door. Yeah. Dodge. Yeah. Where's the other one? 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 Where's the other
but did, did it, like, cut our electric or something? Something. I don't remember. I think there was a hole in the roof, too. Yeah. 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 And we, we walk, walk outside, and all you see is this brush. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I couldn't hear shit in that basement. I think the world could have ended. Really? You couldn't even hear the kids or nothing? Nothing. Wow. No, we didn't hear the kids. We nothing. Hear the kids. Really? Nothing. Uh-huh. They complain all the time. We, we wondered, wondered if you heard us in the, in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 yeah. you know, and, and then, then remember, remember the night that, that the weirdo abuser moved out and everything was left wide open. And, and me and you played investigator. And he left some stuff, stuff in there. There was like boxes of shit. And I'm like, well, I don't want to get blamed for this because we kind of pay rent here. So we want to lock it up or something. So we're walking in and we're like, hello? How did he leave? Like boxes of DVDs. He left all the shit. Yeah. And you know Mark turned around and sold that shit at his little yard sale. Yeah. Um, it was after. It was the abuser guy. The, the one, one that blew up his car. The one who freaking, no. It wasn't him? No, not him. The other guy. Uh, the one who freaking came to the door saying the TV was too loud. And yeah, he. He a fucking dickhole to me um, right when I freaking told the children to turn the damn TV down because it was too loud. But he was banging on the door before I could freaking, you know, get it handled. That asshole. He was, uh, yeah, because me and you stood on the porch the one night. Not the other guy. And, and we were like, you want to be the girl, we'll, we'll, we'll show you how to, you know, yeah. you want to mess around. Oh, we got so many damn neighbors. <laughs> he was a dick, though. Because, like, me and Shane heard him hitting the girl. Yeah, and plates being thrown. thrown. And I was like, you want to hit someone, we're right here, homie. Like, we were laughing the day he moved. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, shit. Well, we better wrap it up. Hopefully you enjoyed the Christmas edition. We gotta do this more often. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> and uh, like, subscribe, and remember, Mr. Sanji at gmail.com. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have to go make that now. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> For real, real. Stop over here. <laughs>